Hello and welcome to my keto kitchen. I'm Victoria. Today I'm going to show you how to make a cinnamon raisin biscuit and yes we are using raisins. However, the finished product should be less than five carbs per biscuit. I do keto because I have epilepsy. It can be a life-threatening type of thing so keto is very important and I don't want to live the rest of my life not being able to eat certain things. However, when you have something like epilepsy, there is sacrifices that you have to make if you don't want to be on the medicine and you just have to give up some things. However, you need moderation. You don't have to cut everything out of your diet. Raisins are high in antioxidants. They do have a lot of fructose in them, so they are high in sugar. However, this recipe there's a minimal amount of raisins, but to be honest, you need raisins if you're going to make cinnamon raisin biscuits. We're going to use about a third of a cup, which that's around 38 carbs, which is really high. I know. However, hopefully this recipe will make us more than 10. So with the flour, the total carb count should be around 50. I'll give all of this information in the description box below in more detail, more exact. But each biscuit should be less than five carbs a piece. That's not going to break my ketosis and it's definitely going to satisfy that sweet tooth that I have in the morning every now and then. So let's get started. Also I just bought these plastic like silicone spatulas and I really like them because the other ones that I had it was like silicone here and a wood handle. Well, the head kept coming off of it, but these are one solid piece. I don't know if any of you have issues like that. I will link these in the description box below. I'm really enjoying them. But the first thing that we need is three cups of my perfected keto flour. Three cups is 315 grams. Now we're going to add the dry ingredients first. We need half of a cup of allulose. Next, we need one tablespoon of baking powder. We need two teaspoons of cinnamon. We need about one eighth of a teaspoon of salt. And let's mix this up. Okay, now that this is well mixed, we need half of a cup of shortening or lard. I wouldn't say use butter, but if you want to use butter, you might can use coconut oil. I don't know. I'm kind of iffy on that. I know that people are going to say this is not healthy. I know, but this is one of those recipes where I'm super, super healthy all the time, all the time, but I want the closest thing to a cinnamon raisin biscuit like at Hardee's and I want it keto and I want to be able to have it at home. So I'm going to use vegetable shortening. Please forgive me. Half of a cup, which is half of a stick. Next, I am going to cover that with some flour so it's not super, super sticky on the outside, but I am going to use a pastry cutter and I am going to cut this into our dry flour mixture. So that's what I'm gonna do first. The next thing we're going to do is one third of a cup of raisins, I know, breaking all keto rules, but balance and moderation. You can't live a keto life without balance and moderation. Be wise about it. And one third of a cup of raisins is in my opinion, wise and balanced. And it's the perfect amount to be able to taste it and enjoy it, but it's not excessive. There's not too much. The last ingredient is one cup of milk. You can use unsweetened almond milk, you can use unsweetened coconut milk, you can use three parts water, one part cream. This is going to be one cup of milk, so you can use three quarters of a cup of water and one quarter of a cup of cream. Um, if you're going to use coconut milk, do not use the one in the can that has way too much fat. Too much fat will weigh this down and make it dense. I am using my Carb Master Milk. One cup. And now I'm going to mix it all very, very well. Okay, I'm going to use my ice cream scoop to get this on my cookie sheet. One scoop. Perfect. Perfect. 
Okay, I got 12 biscuits. These are going into my oven at 400 degrees for about 15 minutes. I will let you know exactly how long this takes and I will be right back. And while the cinnamon raisin biscuits are baking, let's go ahead and make the topping glaze. Right here I have half a cup of granular allulose and I have two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. This whipping cream is hot. I want it hot because I want the allulose to dissolve. If it does not fully dissolve, I need to put it in the microwave because we do not want a sandy glaze. And it's more gritty than what I like, so I am going to put it in my microwave for about 15 seconds. 15 seconds, that's enough. 15 seconds was perfect. This is a beautiful, beautiful glaze that we're going to dip our cinnamon raisin biscuits into once they've cooled. Okay, these have baked for 15 minutes. They are looking gorgeous and golden. I have them on a cooling rack right now. I'm going to let them cool a little bit before I dip them in the glaze and try them for you. Our biscuits have cooled down. Now, let's dip one in the glaze and see what it tastes like. Oof. Oh my goodness. Now, I love to dip things. I typically over dip things, so I'm gonna set that down. We are dripping. Mm, we have to see this. These are amazing. Like so many things. I say amazing. I gotta pick a new word. These are delicious. 15 minutes was perfect. If you make these, please let us know. Please put it in the comments below. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I post every Tuesday and Friday, and you have a blessed day.